the most dominant factor of my life has been my guru and uh, nothing else. Even today in my mind, more than in my mind, literally in every crevice in my body, every pulsation in my system and my very energy has... Uh, it's just his presence which is the most dominant within me. To keep it this way has been easy for me because uh, I don't have a mind of my own <laughs> Because... Uh, probably because of this, just about everything reverberates, which is not me but way beyond me, way bigger than me. I did not see my guru as a, a man who touched me. Though uh, his touch brought me to the highest level of experience and a revelation of life and beyond, The... the old structure within me somewhere would not accept it in the sense unless it came from Adi Yogi, unless it came from Shiva himself, it's not real. So the compassion of my master made himself turn himself into that form. I don't know if this was his act that he turned himself this way or that's how he really was at that time. But today and ever since, this has left me in a place where I don't have to make any attempt to know anything. Whatever I need to know, he and he are there, <laughs> so it's just there all the time. 